Buongiorno. We are on the Autostrada and just leaving Bologna today, headed to Parma. Yes, we're going to meet Mauro and his wife Paola. They're going to meet us in Garibaldi Square in Parma and we will have lunch at their house and then they said they're going to show us the city. Mauro is the one um, who owns the apartment we're staying at. I was an Airbnb guest of theirs three years ago and I've stayed in touch with them. So it's, yeah, it's exciting to get to see them again. They're very welcoming and we'll check out Parma, which is the largest city closest to where our family lives. Oh, grazie, mio e fratello Luca. 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 Mauro. Piacere. Ciao. Oh. Proud Mary. They just fed us a beautiful Italian meal. And now we're going to fly the drone off his patio. When, uh, come si dice comune? When the town. The town. The town put here some different quality of herbs. Yes. All along this. They here. Yes. Instead of this. Yeah. Some years ago. These herbs yeah. never uh, remain. leave, remain here long because ancient women <laughs> During the night, <laughs> come and pick the herbs. <laughs> they, they pick up the herbs and was a desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I told him I'm going to be one of those ancient women. I'm always looking for wild herbs everywhere. Okay, we just spent the day in Parma. We spent it with Mauro, who Sarah met last time she was here. He's our host. We're going to be staying in his apartment um, when we go up into Monte Gropo, but he lives in Parma. He's from Parma. But we just wandered about the city and they fed us lunch at their home and then we walked around the city and just talked about a little bit of history and a lot about life and he was just an amazing man, just an absolutely incredible day. I, I'm just stunned by how beautiful this city is. Just walking through the streets, everything looked, it reminded me of a fairy tale. This yeah. European fairy tale city. It was so clean, all oh, just beautiful cobblestone streets. He walked us down a street that's like sort of the fashion district area and then the food area. But of course, with these gorgeous ancient cathedrals and uh, it's just it's heartbreakingly beautiful. What a cool experience to get to hang out with actually full Italians that are grew up in Parma, been here forever. Yeah, it was really awesome. So they're so kind, such yeah. kind people, generous. His wife Paola gave me a traditional cookbook of Parma, which she sent home with me, which is such a treasure. She knows that I love food, um, so we're about to go stay in their mountain apartment, and we'll be chilly up there. I think 
little colder than here, but we're looking forward to seeing the family here tomorrow.